Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this upcoming week. Capricorn. What's going on around Capricorn? A lot of cards want to come out. What's going on around Capricorn? Two of Pentacles. Feeling like you have so many things to do. So much to accomplish. A lot of things on your plate, guys. There's this need for balance. I feel like you're striving towards here. That is your card. But you need to find some time to, to be happy. To do things that make you happy. Go out, even. Because I think you're kind of neglecting yourselves right now. It is what it feels like. Like you, you, are, you almost have like tunnel vision. There's so many things on your plate that you feel like you need to fulfill and do and accomplish that I feel like you guys are not allowing um, enough time to en really enjoy yourselves, okay? That Scorpio energy. Hmm. What's the underlying issue here for Capricorn? Underlying issue for Capricorn. What's the underlying issue? Oh, Two of Cups. I do feel like you guys are trying to distract yourselves because there's somebody that you are um, definitely in love with, connected to. Even if you're not with that person, okay? There is a love relationship here that is causing a lot of strife in your life right now, okay? And I think you're really trying to do a lot to divert your attention from it. Hmm. But there's something that's telling me that that it's time to relax a little bit and not fight so much, not kick against it so much, okay? That cancer energy there. What was going on in the recent past for Capricorn? Recent past for Capricorn. The star. Hmm. You guys have been trying to heal. You've been really trying to heal. And I think that is what is part of the struggle for you. Um, it's been hard getting over something. Getting over someone. This Aquarius energy here. You also encountered your soulmate. This person may be far away from you currently. But um, I feel like you guys, you're wanting to get back to that person. Whether it's like coming back together because there's so much distance between you. Or either moving together because there's actual physical distance between you. Um, but I feel like that's what's driving you right now. And that's weighing heavily on you. Is this soulmate relationship. Okay. Crowning thoughts for Capricorn. Crowning thoughts for Capricorn. Two of Swords. You guys do not know what to do about this person. You're not really able to see things clearly at this point. See your way out. How to make it better. How to bridge that gap. Okay, that Libra energy there. Got twos. Hmm. There's decisions to be made, choices. Because this is what's going on right now. This is like underlying, and this is what you're thinking. So it's like almost like you're in limbo here. Hmm. What are these cards? Let's see. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. Page of Swords. And the Four of Wands. This is all about making something right so you can be happy again. Stable. Married. In a relationship. With your soulmate, man. This, this person who you're thinking about is your soulmate. There's Gemini energy here. 
um, also uh, earth energy and air energy so it could be somebody with earth in your chart like you guys uh, it could be anyone four of wands is Aries energy uh, could be fire could be any element actually okay because you have all of them here but um, this is something that keeps you up at night um, I, I feel like you are you may not be consciously waiting for somebody to come and rescue you but I feel like subconsciously uh, you're looking for this person to come in and and say the right things to offer the right things so you guys can be happy here and together I feel like you're waiting on that hmm. it's coming in for Capricorn Queen of Pentacles This could definitely be you, your energy. Again, it could be the other person um, that also has this earthy quality about them. Uh, somebody that's emotional, somebody that's very supportive. Uh, uh, I feel like emotionally supportive as well as financially supportive. Um, a, a stable individual. Uh, I, I feel like you care for this person a lot. I do feel like they care for you a lot as well. Okay. <clears throat> How is Capricorn feeling about this situation? How is Capricorn feeling about this situation? Eight of Wands. You're ready to move. You're ready to see some change, some forward movement in your love life. Sagittarius energy. You want to move forward. <clears throat> What is the influence here for Capricorn? Influence for Capricorn. Seven of Wands. You're not ready to give up. You believe in something so um, heavily that you are standing by it. You're not willing to give up on it. Um, and, and you believe, I feel, that you will have what you're supposed to have with this person. That Leo energy. But there's something very prideful about you guys, too. What is the hopes and fears for Capricorn? Hopes and fears. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. The hanging man that it's not going to go anywhere. Your fear is that this is not going to go anywhere. That this is as far as you guys are going to go. Even though you're not willing to give up. You feel like this is a stuck situation. That somebody's going to be stubborn. That somebody's not going to do what it takes to, to make this situation progress in the right direction. Piscean energy. You also feel like you're the sacrificial lamb, like everything is being blamed on you. I think you are wanting somebody else to also take responsibility for their part in whatever happened between the two of you. What is the overall outcome here for? Capricorn. Overall outcome for Capricorn. Justice. Things will work out the way they're supposed to. I feel like everything that you're doing is justified. I feel like um, the scales will be balanced. Things will work out the way that they're supposed to work out. You will get what's right for you right and just okay but I feel like somebody has to make that move um, and I feel like you're doing your part I do feel like this other person will do their part as well I feel like they will but it takes two to tango okay so that's also Libra energy there. Hmm. This is also 
a warning, but not a warning. Um, just some advice that in this upcoming week and longer, this extends out to not lead with your ego. Okay. Regardless if somebody else is leading with their ego. Because you can't control what other people do. You can only control what you do. Okay. So do not try not to lead with your ego. Do what you feel like is right and just for the both of you. And I feel like the other person will follow suit. Okay. So if you were riding on that fence about, you know, whether or not this person is approaching you or doing something in a certain manner, um, you know, you combat that with the same energy. No, I don't feel like you should. I feel like you do what you're supposed to do regardless of what that other person is doing. Okay. And things are going to work out in your favor. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And... I'll be speaking with you soon.